So listen, this is Jonathan from Ethos Decor. We're in New York City. And what happens when you see a long line and you don't know the brand, you never heard of them, but they have a huge following. I just checked on Instagram, right? So we're at the Fugazi pop-up for New York City. Apparently this brand is out of LA and I have never heard of them before, but let's see what happens when we walk into a pop-up that we've never heard of, right? And we're gonna check out the line. It's a long line all the way down the street and we're gonna see what it is. This is what happens when brands build a following and people really rock with them, right? Wherever they go, people wanna follow them because they've, they've built a following and they build a community. So it's very important to build a community. So let's check out Fugazi and see what they have to offer. So whenever, whenever you're looking at a brand, you always want to think about details, right? We always say details matter. So if you're looking at this piece right here, what stands out is first the quality and also details matter. Look at the buttons. Each button is a different color. So somebody definitely put a lot of attention to details, right? And it's also cropped if you notice it, right? So it's supposed to fit a particular way. And this t-shirt in the summertime, you may wear it with a t-shirt, right? But in the wintertime with a hoodie, this is multi-seasonal right here, right? This is a quality piece. Crazy about details, you see right there? The split right there, right? So if you're wearing this with a hoodie, it's gonna come up under your hoodie and sit on you a certain way. So you always wanna look at brands that pay attention to detail. I can't stress that enough, right? Even the t-shirts, right? If you look at the t-shirt, this is a pocket tee, but the way it overlays, right? And then you look at the print under there, and then look, a double collar. So if you're sweating, think about it, if you're sweating, the sweat is gonna catch right here, but nobody's ever gonna notice that. This is a, a t-shirt that if you wore in a more uh, evening wear, it looks upscale. So you're looking at a streetwear brand that's like upscale, right? And then of course, prints on the back. Once again, detail. And it's the same pants that we saw over there. So you're looking at green, you're looking at more of a brownish workwear pants that's upscale, kind of have Carhartt vibes. See right there. And of course the details with the embroidery, right? So fits perfect, right? Looks like you can roll it up. So you're looking at a upscale version of a um, workwear pants, right? So that's very important, right? So I'm looking all around and I love the pieces. I love what's going on. I've just been introduced to this brand. But what's crazy is it's all about luxury pieces, right? So check this out. You always want to look at brands who are doing their own thing and nobody in their market is doing this, right? Like this right here, this is crazy. This is like an instant cop right here. This is what you want. To me, this is the standout piece in the whole store. Like crazy. Actually, Master Kicks, right? And you see, 
Look, if you go real close to it, look, it's a target, right? Embossed on there. So clearly, attention to detail is priceless. Attention to detail is priceless. These are my favorite, my favorite pieces in everything that I see right now, right? I mean, this is timeless. Like, once you age this, like 10 years from now, it's gonna be beautiful, right? So you always wanna get timeless pieces, right? Trevor, so you, you own the brand? Yeah. And it's Fugazi? Fugazi. Am I saying it the right way? Am I saying it the right way? I like, oh, I like that. <laughs> so, um, I, I haven't heard of the brand. I just, I'm shooting something else, but also I'm gonna come in here because it's a crazy line. So, like, what's the background behind the brand? You're based out of LA, right? Yeah, based out of LA. I started making clothes in high school, and then just been going, like, trying to go out ever since. I guess I don't really want to, like, I care about every every detail, every piece, like the quality, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I don't want to charge a luxury price point uh -huh. because then it's, it's unaccessible for, like, yeah. my age people. Yeah. So I, I'm trying to make something that has, like, some sort of meaning mm -hmm. and also a bit of irony. Like, there's a lot of jokes in the pieces. Mm -hmm. um, we mm -hmm. don't take ourselves too seriously. Got gotcha. you. But when it comes to quality and all that, it matters. So got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. sort of like... We, it's all organic growth. We don't do any paid marketing. Mm -hmm. No, no influencers, none of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just organic and like slowly building over time. For real, to be honest with you, the attention to detail is crazy. Thank you. Like there's streetwear and there's streetwear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody can slap a few t-shirts together, but like when you flip in the colors of like the buttons and all of that, or like you know just like the double, the double yeah. collar tape. It's all cut and sewn. Like, yeah, oh yeah, you can you can tell. Is different. You can tell. Like, it's not like we're just ordering blanks and like Yeah, oh it's obvious. Yeah. And like uh like I like even on film, I'm talking about how it's all black, gray, brown. It's nothing you you have a strong brand DNA yeah, off the yeah. top. I want it to be wearable. And like yeah. occasionally we'll like that purple tea will do that, but yeah. But like the, this is our third like big collection. Uh -huh. the first one was only black, and the second one was just like black and some gray. Uh -huh. And then now we're branching out a little bit. And you flip the freaking you flip the freaking like workwear pants. Yeah. Like the little embroidery There's on there. There's a lot of like kind of bootleg like parody stuff. Uh huh. Um, uh huh. So yeah. you, can, you can tell like. I, oh, I can tell. Trust me. I was like, I was like, oh, this is crazy yeah. right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, the bags is a go though. Yeah. Those they, they're not coming out yet, but... I'm about, about to say it. I was going to listen. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm like, man, everything is cool. But I'm like, yo, the bag is crazy. Yeah. So this, they're not out? They're not for no, sale? They will be. I can't buy one? This year. Nah. That bag is nuts. But yeah, this is like... So what's up with the, what's up with the Target type um, detailing on there? So we... A lot of the clothes... We have like kind of different motifs that we carry. Okay. And like, so we have like the workwear, we got like Vietnam War, mm. some like kind of ironic Americana. Yeah. And then we have the Western. Yeah. So this is like sort of the Western insignia. And it's sort of like, you know how LV bags have their mm -hmm, monogram on the mm -hmm. side? This is what we have on all of our bags. Damn. And like, so what's the price point for like the bag or something like that? 